The first of 16 funerals, one today, two tomorrow, lives cut short, the finality sinking in. You've lived a long time in these parts. Have you any, ever seen anything like this? Nothing even close, nothing even close. It'll be, it'll be a long, long haul for, to get over this, and I don't think we ever will. It'll take time. I buried one of my own sons, I know what it's like, so it's very hard. It's something you live with forever. It never goes away. Tyler Bieber was the Broncos play-by-play -play announcer for Bolt FM. Joseph in front for look at that! Yeah. He loved calling hockey, and it was playoff time. Today, like all week, the radio station stayed on air with announcers called in from across the province. It's a simple gesture, but one that can help brighten your day. The Surratt family tied green and yellow ribbons around trees and lampposts in Humboldt. Everyone else was at his funeral. It, they're friends. They're more than just co-workers, so no, it's been a tough, tough week. In Humboldt, the florists can hardly keep up with the orders from close by and far away, mostly green and yellow flowers. Everything you see is the Bronco colors. That's what every, all across the world, that's what they want. The whole of Humboldt, it seems, is at half-mast. On the surface strong, but underneath still trembling. A local priest leads tomorrow's funeral. But a lot of people are in a state of shock and denial. They don't know what to do with this tragedy. Nearly one week since the collision and people are drawn to the site, where in one second the team bus and a semi-trailer hit. No explanations yet. They share a painful yearning to see where their loved ones ended up. The Thomas's family lost their son Evan, just 18. My son was a rookie. He'd have been four or five seats back from the coach, right behind the driver's door. I was able to see roughly where I would think he would have been laying. Evan's funeral comes on Monday. If there is one saving grace here, it is community. The signs everywhere that this grief is shared. And Susan Ormiston joins us now live from really the center of that community, Elgar Peterson Arena in Humboldt. Uh, we've seen some creative tributes for the Broncos, uh, hockey sticks, jerseys, and, and now we hear hockey announcers will be pitching in as well. Yeah, that strength of spirit, Ian. The latest is uh, Les Lazaric, the voice of the Saskatoon Blades, shouted out today on Twitter saying, hey, uh, how about all us announcers do a play-by-play -play for each of the Broncos games next season? That's 58 games, and guess what? He's got enough names now to have two announcers per game for free if the league agrees. It has been a grueling week, uh, but as we were discussing last night, hockey will see, soon be resuming in the league that the Broncos play in. Yeah, uh, dark arenas are not good for the soul for anyone around here. So the fact that the uh, Junior League finals are resuming on Saturday is at least something to cheer about, Ian. Now, for the families most closely affected, there are still days and days of letting go. All right, Susan, thank you.